Hey guys, what if here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2003 for race 32 and 36, season 1 of the career mode. We're going to Martinsville today. Last race was at Lowe's, and we actually had an adequate, good running race. It was actually reasonable. We got top 10. We were outside the top 10 at some point, and then we worked our way into the top 10. That was unbelievable. Well, Black Traffic helped too, and Sean Robinson helped too. Besides the point, that was reasonable. Now, Martinsville, I'm scared, considering the first race we did here was so bad. I don't think we're going to be doing that much better. But we do have that better tire wear thing in the car now that we're going to be using for the race today. Checking out team management, car rating is 61. We're basically using the same stuff we used at a Lowe's. The condition of the car only went down by about 2%. So it's about as good as it, I could possibly manage that. R&D, we just put in the engine efficiency after the uh, lows, considering how much money we got. So we have that in there for three races. And that's really about it. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to show you the setup for the race and then uh, get in the qualifying here. Here's the setup for today's race. For the most part, it's about the same as the reference set. I really didn't change too much here in this part. The only thing I think I changed was the wedge. I bumped it up to about half a round and uh, the gear ratio. Fourth gear, I extended to about an extra three. So it's at uh, 153 instead of 150. That's about it as far as the setup's concerned, so without further ado, let's just uh, get into qualifying and see where we start here. This is the last one, buddy. Push it. Off turn four, the first lap was a 19.9. We'll see what this is. We cross the line, and it's actually a tiny bit better. By like a tenth, and we get it to 26. So that's that's okay. We gained a spot, but I would have rather been on the inside line, not on the outside line. So <sighs> Tony Storm, Ricky Rudd, start up in the front row. Let's get this race underway. Three, two, one. Green flags out. I want to get to the inside right away because I know they're gonna slow down here going into one. Sorry, Dale Jarrett get down there we're off the track but I knew they were gonna slow up so I had to take that evasive maneuver and it it worked it worked and they're gonna do it again here going into three stop stop Mayfield oh my god my car is all fucked up now one lap in that was ridiculous oh man well we're in 23rd um, that pisses me off oh shit. anyways we're we're in clean air now. Let's just try to run in some uh, qualifying laps. That lap was kind of slow. Hey, get up. The 29 car, up out. Harvard gets around me on the outside. I mean, he's a faster car, so I'm not really shocked. But maybe the damage is playing a factor in, into it, too, as we get more freaking back bumper damage from Dale Jarrett. But I feel like that's playing a factor into it as well. It does feel a tiny bit tighter. Than what it should be. I mean, Grant, I bumped up the wedge like half a round before the race started and everything, but uh, it's it was fine in practice when I was uh, testing it out, so that's not really the issue. I just it's definitely the damage kind of affecting the, the handling. So when we do go down pit road on lap 25 going into 26, I will be making a uh, I will repair the car, so I'm gonna definitely do that. And also, I'm pitting on lap 25 going into 26 mainly because. Um, in the spring, we were a lap down, so we pit on lap 24 and everything, and we were able to make it on fuel. So I think in this race, just to play it safe, just on just making it to the end on fuel and everything, we're going to pit at the halfway point instead of one lap before. So that's my uh, my token strategy, as Matt Kenz is just going to go right around me on the outside. Really just bummed out about that first lap incident because like that was just something I was trying to avoid and I got through it in turns one and two and three and four I tried to slow down and uh, it just messed me up big time. A couple laps that went by and still in 27th we're hanging on here pretty well we're getting such good corner exit speed it's ridiculous like I can't even stress just how insane it is like we just get such a good jump off the corner. I feel like that's keeping us at bay with the, you know, the people behind us right now, and that's really been saving my ass. So I'm really glad with that. I'm gonna be pitting in a couple more laps. Just gonna ride these next couple laps out. Uh, I'm I'm pretty content with this race. I'm kind of shocked how well this car has been overall performing compared to the last time we were here, which was just 
so bad. I just, I was expecting just about the same. I'm gonna be pinned this time by uh, 70 miles an hour thing, so I'm kinda surprised it's 70 miles an hour here considering it's such a short track, but whatever. We get down Piro, no problem. And, uh, yeah, four tires and fuel. Uh, now repair, actually, repair damage. It's gonna be, it's gonna cost us a lot of time, but it's gonna help us out, so we'll just have to see what our pit crew could do here. Pretty slow pit stop, but I kind of was expecting that considering we were repairing the damage. It should help us out just a little bit more. So, yeah. We're in 40 second now. Pit stops sh should be still cycling through. If not, I'm going to be pretty pissed because, you know, we would have lost like damn near 20, what, 15 spots? But I don't think it's the, the last of it, so. We're just going to have to wait and see. As you see, more people are leaving pit road. I'm hoping we can at least cycle back out to where we were before, if not like in 30th at the max, considering we had to repair the damage. But right now we're in 37th, so that's not too bad. Please, Rusty, don't do anything stupid. He was way out far ahead of him. But handling-wise, this car is good. I just don't think we have like the engine power as of right now, which is something we're going to have to really focus on in Season 2. But as far as um, you know, tire fall off and everything, it's been it's it's solid. It's really really good. I'm just I'm shocked. I didn't think that tire uh, uh, grip, tire wear thing would help out so much, but I guess it has. As we're up into 32nd or 31st, we should be nearing the end of all the pit stops. I think I don't know. The, for some reason, the ad drivers have a very weird pit cycle here. Where they pit either so much earlier or so much later as we just drove into Rusty Wallace there for no good reason. But we should be gaining a couple more spots here. We move up into 29th, which is shocking. We're going to get by Ryan Newman. He's not for position. Maybe Mike Skinner's for position. And uh, I guess not. I actually almost wrecked ourselves. And he, now he completed the trifecta. Jackass. Ooh, oh, God, please. Okay. Very, very hairy, but um, it's kind of my fault anyways, but we're gaining a lot of spots. We're up in the 25th. That's actually a little bit better than where we were earlier in the race, so as I was trying to say, the AIs always have a really weird uh, pit cycle here. They'll either pit like really early or really late, and it would hurt them in the long run, because as you see right now, we are up into 21st. That's That's huge. <laughs> I think Junior might be act for an actual position. I think Mark Martin got by me, so he's for position. Junior really is for position. Newman and Rusty are heading down pit road, so that's even weirder. This race, <laughs> I don't. Know, this is Nat like this is just like NASCAR 2002. If you ever saw that playthrough of it, like the I think season both season one and season two had Martin to like they would have really odd pit cycles and like they would wait so long into the run to pit. So it's just really strange. But because of all that, uh, we're dummy. There's no way we're gonna get a top ten. That's gonna be absolute BS. We are an eighth. That is unbelievable. Um, what? That's no. That does not. Something's not right. I did not have a good pit stop to warrant being an eighth. Something is clearly not right with this race. Who's in ninth and tenth? Like we, who we have to race with? Elliot Sadler in Mayfield. Okay, this race is just getting this is just getting weirder. But we're we're an eighth. We have an, an actual chance of getting a top ten. I didn't even think I'll be able to say that in this race, considering how far back we were. Eight laps to go for me. The leader is right behind me, so I don't know what's going on. I mean the one, the leader has such a massive gap over basically everyone that there's only like maybe ten or eleven cars on the lead lap. Two, why in the hell am I up this far up in the field? There's this is like NASCAR 15 levels of, of AI tomfoolery pit stop thing because, like, I don't know, but we're hanging on, we're actually hanging on to this spot. Like, I don't know, we have to worry about Elliot Sadler a little bit, but we get such a good drive off the corner that we just kind of hang on, as you saw right there. But 
couple laps left to go. Just going to really focus here and get a cheeky, unfair top 10, but we'll gladly take it. One mistake like that, and it just costed me right there. That's just so frustrating. Mike Skinner, what are you doing? Uh, oh, oh my, wait, wait a minute. Was Dale Jarrett for an actual position? I thought he was racing for second. Oh, wow, he was for a freaking position. God damn it. Fuck. Mike Skinner pissed me Ooh. Ooh. That pissed me off. I don't know why Mike Skinner was racing me so damn fucking hard. Well, that cost me a top ten. That... God damn, that sucks. White flag is out for me. Uh, Jeff Gordon. I guess is the race leader, he just lapped me, and Ward Burns trying to get by me for uh, 11th, but just really, really disappointed. That that top 10 was almost ours, and Ward Burns going to get around me, maybe, uh, man, damn, that sucks. That one little fuck-up cost me that many spots, son of a bitch. Oh, I'm better than the first Martinsville race, but damn, that sucks. Jimmy Spencer second, what? <laughs> Gordon's gonna gain a lot in the points too. Dale Jr. got like 10, so that's that's crazy. Now let's just check out our earnings. It should be good, all things considered. Um, and we're gonna get actually a good amount, and it's gonna be 377,000. I'll take that. Damn, man, that was so close to a top 10. Damn, like the that car, like I'm looking forward to season two because if that was like, I don't think we'll be championship worthy in season two. We're definitely going to have way better runs if we're going to have semi-decent races like that. Holy crap. Jarrett gets ninth. He started 27, too, so he gained a lot of spots. 138 points for him. Gordon, who is second in points now, gets 180. So who led the most laps then? I, for Ricky Rudd, I think? I think he started on the pole. He must have got screwed over pit cycles or something, which is, um, what, like... 30th example of why he has a bad season this year. No, I guess not. So who led the most laps? I'm confused. Um, I don't really... Okay, Tony Stewart did. Okay. So where did he finish? Got 8th. Okay. Wow. Yeah, the pit cycle really jumbled up everything, it seemed like. So... Yeah, alright. So there you go. That was Bristol. I'm I'm confused. Bristol? Martinsville? Holy... Well, I mean, they're both short tracks. <laughs> I, I'm... Wow. I... I can't. My brain can't process it. Just check out the, the point standings. Next race is at Atlanta, and if Atlanta is similar to Lowe's, then we should, hypothetically should, have a decent run there too. Now, I don't know how good our car is. Actually, it went down to about a 60, so what's the, okay, 95, so it went down like an extra one, or went down 3%. It could have only been just 2% had I not gotten in so many incidents there, so... Anyways, let's just repair um, the engine that we have. Let's see, this one is actually pretty good. So we're going to repair engine number four. I could technically overhaul engine four. I could technically do that. What would that be? A 62, 56, 67. What would it be if I repaired it normally? Um, 61, okay. So it really will only, will only go up 1%, so it's not worth investing the money in. So we're just going to normally repair engine four for uh, two races, 88K, and chassis... It's at a 95, so that's what we have right now. And technically, chassis 7 is pretty good in terms of tire grip and wear. I don't know. I think... And again, number 7 has good drafting. I don't know. This is going to be a toss-up. This could really determine the performance of the car. Um, I don't know. This is, this is going to be a tough call. So, I think we're going to stay with, uh, we're going to stay with number eight. I keep looking at the, the thing, so we're just going to keep everything as is for now. Maybe after Atlanta, we'll repair number chassis eight or whatever. 
So that's 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 the plan. So yeah, so let's just uh, go to cars, uh, modify the one we already have, and put in a better engine, which will be this. And that should be it for that. It will be a car rating of 60, so it's about the same, but we're going into Atlanta with a fresh engine, so hopefully the tire wear and everything will still be good. Um, two more races on the uh, engine efficiency. We still have a lot of money, so whenever that comes in, we'll just pop that in. So, yeah. Uh, point standings, we're still in 23rd. We might have gained a little bit on Johnny Benz. I think it's down to 60 points compared to like 140. So we did gain a, quite a bit on him. Elliot Taylor did gain on me as well in points considering he did actually finish better than me. And Dale Jarrett still the points hitter, 133 points ahead of Jeff Gordon. The points gap dropped to me about like 42 points. But Jarrett still has a very comfortable lead right now. Marlins in third. Mark is fourth. Junior dropped down to fifth. And here's the top 10, Bobby Lyons in 10th with Ricky Rudd in 12th, and there's the top 15. So, it's going to be more likely a battle between Jarrett and Jeff Gordon for the championship here. So, yeah, I don't know. That was uh, Gordon's second consecutive win, I think? Yeah, second consecutive win, so, alright. Now, well, anyways, that's it for this video. Like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video, because it helps me a lot in the long run. I'll see you all at Atlanta. And as always, have a good day, everyone.